We're here at Ford Stadium on SMU campus, and now it's time for a mathematical challenge. And the point of this challenge is to show that it's not always about getting the right answer in mathematics. Sometimes it's good just to get in the same ballpark, and that's called estimation. And so the challenge that I've been given is to estimate the capacity of Ford Stadium. And there are some things that make that easy and some things that make that kind of hard. So what are the things that I have in my advantage? Well, this particular stadium has a number of sections of seating that are basically rectangles. They have the same number of seats in every row all the way up to the top of the stadium. And we know it's pretty easy to estimate things that are in rectangles because we can use the length times width formula. So I'll be using that. Other sections in the corners of the stadiums get larger, get wider as they go toward the top because the stadium curves. So there's a different number of seats at the bottom of the section than at the top, and I'll have to take that into account. So that's one of the challenges that I face. So let's get started. I happen to be standing in what looks like one of the basically rectangular sections. So I expect there's the same number of seats uh, all the way down at the side of the field, all the way up to the top of the stadium. So I'm going to need to count the number of seats in one row, and I'm going to need to count the number of rows. OK. So uh, the easiest seat, the easiest row to count the seats in is the one right here by me. And I now realize that I've got a big advantage because the spaces are actually numbered on this bench. So I am so in luck. All right, so I see this bench right here. It's numbered from 1 through 12. This section looks pretty symmetric. So I'm going to assume that the other bench that makes part of this section uh, is also 1 through 12. So that's 24 seats in this row. Now I'm going to count the number of rows in the section, and I just got to do that by dead on counting. I'm going to use my pen here to try to keep track of the rows as I go. So I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So it's 24 by 24 below me. Now I got to count the rows above me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I think it's 25. So I'm looking at 49 rows, 24 seats across. Now, my counts might, have been, might, might not have been exact. It's kind of tricky to count all those rows from one spot, but hopefully we're getting close. So, one rectangular section. Seems to be 24 seats wide by 49 rows deep. Now, again, since I'm just estimating, I'm going to round that 49 off to 50. Because again, I should still be close. I wasn't even sure if my account was exact. So that's 24 times 50 is equal to, well, 2 times 50 would be 100. And there's 12 twos in 24. It's two dozen. So that's 1,200 seats in a rectangular section. OK. Next, I want to think about one of these more triangular sections. Not quite triangular. It's actually more of a trapezoid, if you will, because it's got uh, parallel rows of seats. There's a short row right near the field and a much longer row up in the top. And I'm going to look at one of these triangular sections, and it appears to me that where this has sort of two benches uh, near the seats, near the, near the field, the triangular sections only have one bench near the field. So I'm going to estimate that instead of 24 seats at the field side, those start with 12 seats. And now I'm going to look up, and it's clear that the top row of those sections, um, the top row of those sections is wider than the top row of one of my rectangular sections. It looks like maybe almost twice as wide. So it looks like we're going from 12 seats at the bottom of the section to uh, about 48 seats, twice as many, at the top of the section. 
And now I want to estimate how many total seats there are in that section. Well, it's growing linearly, right? Every, the side of every section is a straight line. So in between the 12 and the 48, the number of seats is growing linearly per row. And there's a nice property. When that's the case, and you'll see this in the formula for the area of a trapezoid, you can just use the average number of seats in a row between the, the shortest and the longest and multiply by the number of rows. So the average seats per row, seats per row, is 30. And uh, again, there's about 50 rows. So we're going to estimate 1,500 um, uh, seats in a corner section. Just to recap, we estimated that there are uh, 1,200 seats per rectangular section and about 1,500 seats per corner section. So to put this all together, I now need to count the number of each kind of section. And I notice that there's little half sections at the very ends of the stadium. So I'm going to count those as one for the half sections. And that's a, a, one of the rectangular kind. And now I'm only going to count rectangular ones as I go around. Uh, so I'll start with two. Two, three, four, five. Oop, I lost track. Can happen. OK. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Now I gotta skip some corner ones. Uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So I get 22 rectangular sections. And since I started from two, that counts the, uh, that counts the little half sections at the end. Now we gotta count the corner sections. I've got three here in this corner. And I've got three there in that corner. The stadium is symmetric, like so many things we see on campus. So that's six corner sections. Now I'm going to put this all together. That would mean that I would have 1,200 times 22 in the rectangular sections. Let's see. Uh, that would be 24,000 plus 2,400. So 24,000 plus 2,400 is 26,400 in the rectangular. And then uh, I got the six corner sections. That's 1,500 times six. Six times 15 is 90, so that's 9,000 seats. So I am getting, if I add up my two portions of seats, an estimate of 35,400 seats as the capacity at Gerald Ford Stadium. And now we're gonna check the tape and see how I did.